Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box, the Technical Trader. It's Tuesday, August the 2nd, and boy, do we have a slam dunk day on Wall Street today. Oscillators are pretty oversold. Um, a lot of the boxes shorts have gotten hammered, and um, I was going to show you them tonight, but they're in such oversold condition that I felt we should at least take a look at some of the longs now and prepare for what could be a snapback rally at some point, take advantage of some of the better patterns. In front of you, we have Asia Entertainment and Resources, AERL, which had been moving nicely in the June-July period, backed off in the last few days before yesterday when it reversed, closed to the high for the day, and today spiked up to 1087, which is the highest levels reached since early March. Mine was pretty decent, 400,000 shares, and but it did back off to close at 1028, still up 48 cents or 5 percent, um, in a, a very very negative down day. So we have to take that in consideration. Um, my target right now, 12 and a half short term, right at the top of the January highs. AKRX had a, a very interesting day today. It gapped up, ran to 820 and backed off, but still up 44 cents or 6 percent again on a very negative day with strong volume. Two and three quarter million shares traded. You can see the technical spiking up here. I like that. Now, mid-range channel top uh, or resistance right in here um, may be met soon, around 8.5. That's my ultra short-term target. But if this thing continues to trend the way it is, look at the way it's looking here, I'm going to give you a target of 12 on an intermediate basis. Arco Dorado's holding, uh, I believe, a South American restaurant chain um, with fairly new IPO. Um, after breaking out in July and then pulling back to test the breakout point and the rising moving averages has spiked up in the last three days during this ugly market period. And that's a very, very good sign. From 22 and a quarter or so up to 25.40 in the last couple of days. Uh, the post IPO high around 26 may be tested shortly, but certainly a very, very nice day up $1.62 or 7% on 4.4 4 million shares of this new IPO. I also want to cover some of the ultra shorts, which have a very, very interesting uh, basing patterns. Now, you'll notice that the BGZ, for example, which is the large cap triple bear ultra short, uh, had come way down from the uh, mid 90s in uh, as early, recently as a year ago to the low 30s, bounced sharply towards the 40 area, and then came down again to the low 30s, and then once again, triple bottoming there before. A resounding snapback surge over the last six, seven sessions has taken it from about 32 to nearly 40 today, 39, 72, closing just a penny off its high. You can see that the June highs are here, and um, we have key resistance up in the zone. So it's going to be interesting to see whether the market can follow through. One of the things that I like the best about this move is it's accompanied by a very heavy volume and a sharp surge in technicals, which could lead to a breakout and a run into the low 40s short term. Um, we'll see what we get with that, though, and keep a close tab on this because it could stall right here and back off. Particularly with the oscillators as oversold as they are, we may very well see a pullback. One of the other ultra shorts is FAZ, which is actually broken out today with a $4 surge or 8% on nearly 18 million shares. That's the heaviest volume in a couple months. And it broken through the double top from June and through this band of resistance. Um, it looks like the lateral price resistance right here over the last eight or nine months um, is it was broken and we got a new high here. Now, if the market does continue to tank, this can spike up to the high 50s, maybe low 60s short term, but it can also back off right at this point. This is a key point for the market and a lot of the ultra shorts. Thinly traded interface had a big day today. As you can see, this uh, head and shoulders type pattern was broken with a surge today of $1.11 or 23%. Not bad for a crummy day in the market, eh? Um, but more importantly, you'll see that this uh, pattern maybe it may have been resolved today. It could lead to more upside around seven and a half. My target at the March April highs. Imperial Sugar trending nicely, surged up to 25.68, a new multi-year high. That's the highest level reached since the end of the seven, nearly four years ago, and. Uh, Secondary resistance here was taken out recently. The stock consolidated. We popped. If the trend holds true, we could see a stock in the high 20s to low 30s short term, or at least in the immediate term. My tech, a new, new uh, swing trade position of ours. I'm just very high in the way this looks. Fundamentals are very strong. The stock's moved from five and three quarters to 10 in the last in the, the period from um, mid June to uh, mid July. Backed off, consolidated, and has been coming on again. Up 26 cents today. Now that's 30 some odd cents off the high. Still a 
nearly 3% gain on a day like this, with volume increasing to the best in about seven sessions. You get a move over 10 with volume, I suspect we could see 11 and a half, three quarters short term. And by the way, secondary target at the top of the channel and my swing trade target is up around 15.16. NUS, new skin, up 319 on a day like this? Gotta be kidding me. 2.4 million shares, the best volume since early May when it spiked here, which led to that increased movement. I'm looking for more upside. If we can get to today's high of 41, this could be 43, 45 zone very quickly. Synchronous technology is probably the best mover today, up 630 or 22%, 2.5 2 million shares traded by far, biggest volume since February, and one of the biggest volumes in the last 52 weeks. Now, if you take a look, you'll see that declining top line was taken out today, but lateral price resistance was not. It actually approached that and backed off of it. If we move to 36, keep your close tabs on that one, we can see the stock is very quickly up towards the 40 range. And on an intermediate basis, mid 40s. And lastly, today, the other ultra short we follow closely is the TZA. That had a spike as well. You can see it's moved back above the 50 and backed off to test it yesterday, reversed, and today followed through with a gain of 374, up 10%. 22 million share traded, and it's now approaching the June highs. There's resistance in this zone here. And again, we could back off, but if we do get a follow through, my target's up around the 47, 8 zone. And that's it for the ideas for this. Um, well, let me just throw in Zag, too. I want you to see the Zag, Zagster. Holding up very nicely. Zag is in a nice rising channel. Um, it um, made a new high, backed off, and, and it firmed up, but couldn't quite break out today, 1665 being the high, 1690 here. Should we get over 1690, I'd look for a move to 18 and a half, 19, my short-term target. But I want to see better volume, although the technicals are indeed holding up pretty well. That's it for now. HP out. Good luck tomorrow. You're going to need it.